And had Mr. Moldenhauer had any experience in development in Mississauga? Yes. How much experience? Uh, he has uh, a few projects. So the word came back that the proposal wasn't acceptable to this group. Is that correct? Correct. And then uh, that you should put together your own group. Is correct. that right? Or a development team. Was there any indication as to how this would be financed? Uh, with their money. And we know from the time of incorporation of world-class development, which was February 22nd, 2005, according to Exhibit 187, that it's right in that period when world-class developments was incorporated. Correct. Now, what role did you have in the incorporation of the company? I just called the lawyers and had them incorporate it. Now by this time, did you have an understanding that any other company or anyone else had an interest in the Omer's land? I don't believe anybody had an interest. So then there was a, a name change uh, in World Class Developments. I understand it began as World Class Developments, Inc., and there was a name change to World Class Developments Limited in August 2006. Yeah, that was based on a printing error. What kind of printing error? Well, letterhead and business cards. Had World Class Developments Limited on it instead of Inc. So we had to change it. Right. So it was cheaper, <laughs> cheaper to change, change the name of the, the company than change the printing stationery. Fair enough. Now, then in putting together a team, what type of people, what types of expertise were you looking for? Well, first I was looking for someone who had done uh, some development, uh, hotel potential uh, development as well, and financial. And Leo Coupri was financial, and I chose Murray Cook because of his experience in hotel and development, high rise as well. And we're going to come back to those individuals in a few moments. And what experience did you bring to world class developments, Mr. Uh, I was strictly a real estate agent. What did you expect to gain in putting world class developments together? and finalizing a deal in relation to this land? Potentially, in the long term, the sale of the condos, uh, because there, I think there was 2,500 condos. Initially, it was hoping to get a commission on the sale of the land, but in the end, it apparently, uh, owners was not willing to pay. And as we'll see in the course of your evidence today, you appear to have put some of your own funds into world-class developments. Is that right, sir? Yes. And why did you, we'll come to this in greater detail, but why did yes. you do that if you were a real estate agent hoping to realize income on commissions? Well, at the point when I did put it in, it was uh, the company was running out of money and had obligations that it had to meet. And in order to keep a deal alive, I saw fit that I had to put some money in to keep it alive until we found a financier. Have you ever done that before in a real estate deal? I have loaned some money for deposit money before, yes. Now, let's return now then to uh, those who you involved in WCD or World Class Developments. And first of all, I'll ask you about Leo Kupri. Um, how do you know Mr. Kupri? I actually met him on that trip to China. He was a uh, friend of Mr. Shim. So you're talking about the trip to China in 2002? In 2002. And we became friends. What business 
was Mr. Cooper in, let's say, in 2005 and 2006? Oh, he's in the import-export of seafood, as well as, you know, meat. Import-export of food for restaurants and whatnot. Do you have some understanding as to what resources he has at his disposal? He's uh, comfortably well off and has some spare cash, to my understanding. So uh, you approached him to invest in the project, is that Yes, right? I did. And did he agree to do that? Yes, he did. And specifically, what was he providing? What was the he purpose was of his investment? primarily providing the deposit money. Can you explain that? Deposit money for what? Oh, for the purchase of the land, 750000 Perhaps we could go to Exhibit 189 now, please. And I'm showing you this document. It's Exhibit uh, 189 in these proceedings. And it's a WCD World Class Developments Limited loan agreement between Leo Kupri and World Class Developments Limited. It's dated January 29, 2007. See that, sir? Yes. And it appears to bear your signature as guarantor, is that right? Correct. And on for the borrower, whose signature is that? Do you recognize that, sir? I don't recognize it, but it could be either Murray Cook or or Leo. And who signed as the witness, sir? Uh, my mother. Now, by its terms, this loan agreement indicates that in exchange for lending WCD a total of $750,000 for the down payment, <coughs> Mr. Coopery would receive a return of his principal investment plus an additional $750,000 once the development deal was completed. Is that correct, sir? Correct, yes. Now, at that time, how were the shares in WCD held? Uh, Leo owned 100%. And why was Mr. Coopery given all of the shares at that stage? He had all the money. And at that stage, had anyone else invested in the company? No. Have you yourself ever been an officer or director of WCD? Never. If I could turn you now, sir, to another uh, document, Exhibit 190. And this is a declaration of trust. Doesn't appear to bear a date. Do you recognize this document, Mr. McCallion? Yes, I do. Can you describe the circumstances surrounding the well, signing of this document? Uh, Mr. Cooper and I were uh, traveling uh, shortly after. Um, away and we decided to uh, do a trust agreement just in case something happened to us on the plane and uh, so that my family might get some benefit out of this. And if we could scroll down to the bottom uh, please of the document we see here uh, your signature is that right sir? Yes. As the beneficiary? Yes. And we see another signature above the line and indication, Leo Coopery, the trustee. Is that right, sir? Correct. And we see um, a <clears throat> signature to the left. That's my mother. Now, you've told me that this was signed to offer some protection. Is that right, sir? Yes.
Why did you and Mr. Coopery decide on that particular occasion to enter into this trust agreement? Um, just because we were traveling. We left, I believe we traveled on the January the 30th. Right. And you were um, traveling for uh, 10 days, is that right? Approximately, yes. I think I know the answer to this question, Mr. McCallion, but did either you or Mr. Coopery have any assistance from a lawyer before signing this document? Uh, no, none. Um, in fact, do you have any understanding as to how the document was drafted? I believe uh, Leo uh, Googled it on the computer and came up with trust agreement. He Googled trust agreement or trust declaration and... That's what came up. <clears throat> now, you told us your mother witnessed it, is that right? Yes, that is. And first of all, sir, where was this signed? Well, I believe we were at dinner at Pier 4 with Leo and his wife and me and my mother. And Pier 4 and is, who else. is what, sir? It's a restaurant in Toronto. So you were there at dinner and... Uh, I believe we were traveling the next day or a couple of days from that. Right, and hence your concern about protecting your interest. Is that right? Correct. Um, did you review the document with your mother? No. I did not. Did she sign it in your presence? Yes. From the best of your recollection and observation, did she appear to read it before signing it? No. She was strictly acting as a witness. Did you discuss this document in her presence? No. Leo and I had discussed it prior to. Now let's scroll up a bit so we can see more of this document, Italian. <coughs> It indicates that the trustee solemnly declares that he holds 80% of the shares of World Class Developments Limited, and then in parentheses, the property, in trust solely for the benefit of the beneficiary. The trustee further promises the beneficiary, and then we've got A and A, not to deal with the property in any way except to transfer it to the beneficiary without the instructions and consent of the beneficiary. B, to account to the beneficiary for any money received by the trustee in connection with holding the property. C, beneficiary to pay the trustee double the amount of money advanced by World Class Developments Limited to McCarthy Tetro for deposits regarding purchase of property from Omer's Realty Management Corporation and 1331430 Ontario Inc. as per attached agreement of purchase and sale. Have I read that correctly, sir? Yes, you have. <coughs> now, did you understand at the time that the term beneficial ownership meant that you yourself owned the shares of WCD and not Mr. Cooper? No, I did not. They were still in his possession. How I phrase that question in terms of your understanding at the time, yeah, which you told time. us was January 2007. What do you understand it to mean today? as we stand here July 27, 2010. Today, it would mean that I own the company. Now, after this agreement, or this trust declaration was executed, and you've told us this was January 2007, did you believe that you were a beneficial owner of world-class developments? No, I did not. <clears throat> 